I've got to be honest with you right now. Um, the la there has been a bit of a time jump in terms of the last six weeks. I've actually taken my boat from Wakefield back down to Stanley Ferry, moored up there for a bit, moored up in other places, and all because I split up with my girlfriend. So I don't really want to talk about it. I just wanted to mention that, yeah, I'm back on board full time now. This is it. Everything I own is back on this boat. And um, yeah, nothing left to do except just keep cranking it forward. The first bridge that I come to on my trip here is perhaps the most interesting. It's part of Wakefield's famous 99 arches, here illustrated by a local artist who tried to prove how many there actually were, because imagine how much rebuilding goes on over the years. According to the local newspaper, the artist found 111 arches, but I guess that's harder to say than 99. It's just an example of Yorkshire extra value just like this mattress in a tree is well it's just extra isn't it um is that a sign of flooding or just the carefree wild nature of the people of west yorkshire i'll have to leave that to you to decide right here we go first lock of the day brand new i've not been through this one before so i'm a bit brand new to this but i've got a special guest who's going to help me out My special guest today is Nev, he's a local boater, but also a joiner. So we've got a lot of plans. Uh, he's going to help me fit out some of my boat. Uh, but first we've got to get through these few locks with this unique way of uh, operating the paddles. You might have seen these before, this is a Calder and Hebel spike. You normally have to buy or make these, but luckily for me, one of my Patreon supporters, when I was helping her move her boat as well. Uh, her dad actually broke mine and he made this one, which is even better. Now, what do you do if you haven't got one of these? What could you use instead? Oh, really? What, just buy it from Screwfake or something, or a DIY shop? cold enough that we're actually seeing ice floating around in the water and soon we may be breaking through some. But first, I want to thank some really bloody generous people who are joining my crank it crew with their names going in the book. So thank you Clive Wales, Craig Waderson, Sarah Billingham, John and Sean Morgan, Ron Turner, Sandra Beer, Tim Beachy, Nicole Mazza, Welcome to the Crank It crew. And then my producers, Charles Kinneberg, Steve Foster, Mark Johnson, Jay and Kristen McDonald. Welcome. 
And then this is the top level, Captain Andy Gosling, Captain Simon Mulhall, and simply Captain RL. Thank you all so very, very much. You make sure that there's no adverts on these videos and you just keep me cranking and keep me company. So I do appreciate that. The Calder and Hevel, beautiful navigation. Although a lot of it is cared for very nice and neatly. I mean, the, the paths here I'm seeing have been nicely edged. It's the locks themselves that perhaps need a bit of work. And we're coming to the end of the winter now. So the winter programmer works obviously hasn't been on this lock where we're having to use gate paddles instead of ground paddles to let the water flow in. So yeah, can get a bit, a bit tricky to control the boat. Got to be careful with the flow of water. thing we've got to make sure they're open first <laughs> no they might not be oh that's the bar it bit is it yeah we'll just go in that way <laughs> yeah. oh, right nice one how you doing that was my first bite um, i was leaving and it's oh wow here we go it's nice that one What can you smell? Food. <laughs> now this is something I never had before. Pulled beef baguette with what looks to be triple cooked chips and we've got some gravy underneath all that. This is top pub grub. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just testing, you don't want to see any of this. <laughs> this place I've stuck here so long because, <laughs> because it's on the water, it's nice for the, for the dogs, people. It's just a lovely, lovely place to be, really. That's basically why I stuck, stuck it out. And you've got quite a lot of personal touches. What's your favourite? What do you mean, like the paintings? Yeah. So they, are they all your paintings? Well, they belong to me, but I have paint. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Sam. All Thanks right. so much for having us. Okay. Cheers. But yeah, that's Hub of the Week this time. I recommend it. Those baguettes. Pulled beef baguettes. God damn. Really good. Here. A couple of days. Nice little field next to it. You're having lots of fun, aren't you? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> when was the last time you were out on your boat? 18 months ago. Bloody hell. See, I'm gifting him. <laughs> I'm being kind it's by letting him. The locks. By letting him do all the locks. <laughs> yes, got the train. best thing about having someone else operate your boat when, I don't know if you can hear this, when it's iced over. 
is that I can run ahead and film the extraordinary sounds that you get when a boat breaks through a layer of ice. Icebreaker, naughty lass. Look at her go. Right, I'm going to try and hop back on here. Right, right here we go. Whoa! I'm on. Coming to the end of it now. Suddenly, everything has gotten a lot quieter. Right, here we are, Horbury. This is the Vista Morian Sea, you get three days before that sign. Next to it, the Bingley Arms, but it's not open at the moment. Turning now. It's, uh, quite a sharp turn, isn't it? Yeah. Who's going to do this, me or you? Your boat, mate. Here we go. Worried man. Thanks to Nev's help, I've arrived at Horbury Basin and uh, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, but I can't wait to show you what we've got planned and what we're going to come up with. Right Nev? <laughs> Let's do it. Nicely moored up. Might have been ice breaking today, but this boat here was actually designed as an ice breaker. Look at this, the, the shape of that. Wow, it's just really, really narrow. 
and pointed and yeah, I can imagine that did the business.